So we just seen the heat recovery on the diagram, and now this is the system here. Why don't you explain a little bit of how this works? Yeah, this is your your heat recovery unit. So we have this in the, in quite a few uh, different versions. This is the okay. smallest one with only one tank. Okay. Yeah. We also have uh, a bigger frame that has two tanks, so there will be another tank on this side. Okay. Um, but we have quite a few uh, functions, and this is connected, let's say, on the on the hot side of your system. Yeah. So we have the the heat exchanger. Um, heating up in the end this vessel here and of course this water you can use for anything basically yeah. and you can you can have a set point here we have uh, we have a controller inside as you can see so this is a controller taken from our uh, heating uh, department is ECL 310 okay. yeah. and this one maintains the water temperature inside and this water you can use for uh, cleaning if needed. Yep. You can Meal use rooms. it for, for heating of, of your building. Yep. So you can use it for anything. So now we can supply a complete package. And this controller here, this one maintains the water temperature inside. And if the temperature goes down, then this will send a signal to our pack controller telling it to raise the pressure yep. in order to heat up this, this tank. Okay, and I see a couple of sensors on here. I'm uh, assuming this will say how much water is in the tank. Yeah, those are just simple level sensors. Yeah, just Absolutely. level sensor connected back. So if you do get a call and say there's no water in here, you got to find out what the blockage is in that water coming in. Is the valves not opening? If they're not closing? Because this is the whole part and just standard sensors to see if there's any water in there. What are these sensors here? These are energy sensors. Okay. So they are they are measuring the the, the, the energy and the power of the system. Okay, so, so you can you can see what it's uh, so, what it's doing. So this is like a full packet solution. This is what I love about CO2 now. You not only do the low temp and medium temp refrigeration, now we're getting into heating, we're getting into air conditioning. So it's like CO2 is becoming a full package solution for your customers. So that's pretty important to know. Yeah, and in the beginning, we, we could only uh, uh, supply the heat exchanger in the discharge line basically. And this part, the, the installer had to do themselves, basically, or buy somewhere else. And yeah. now we can supply it. So yeah. now we can supply, I should say, the, the full package. Absolutely. Yeah, and it makes it easy, right? Because now yeah. there's manuals. If you're building this yourself, there's usually no manuals and you're figuring out as you go. Now that you got manuals, you got experts that have built it, you have people you can talk to about it. And then something that you can work on very easily. A lot of space here, you know, so super cool. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Hey, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you got something out of it, something that you can use in your daily life. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell button because when you do click the bell button, it will notify you anytime new videos are released. Also, check out the Refrigeration Mentor webpage at refrigerationmentor.com where I'll have all the different trainings, upcoming events, the different podcasts I've been on, as well as the Refrigeration Mentor podcast. If you want to check that out on Apple, Spotify, Google, any service provider of your choice. Super excited to see you at the next video. Now let's get a conversation going.